Okay, so it's Monday, June 28th at 8.34 in the morning. I'm on my way to Wade Creek to have the Kim versus Kim round one battle. So Kim Brown is already down here scouting out the beach. So, you know, that's how seriously she's taking this challenge. And uh, we haven't made up any rules yet. So we just got to see how this is going to work. Uh, we haven't agreed whether we're going to fish together or not, or whether we're going to fish apart. I'm also looking very forward to meeting Kai again, and I believe Jeff is coming, who's her husband. Uh, Tyler Perry and Charlie Merrifield said they might show up, uh, but not sure. Hey guys. Hi. Hi Jeff. Hello. First time we met. Hi, yeah. You're How you doing? TK? No, I'm Jay. Jay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Here's your hat, dude. And then, nice. here, here's some, here's, oh, now you don't have to fight over your stuff. Oops, here's, a, here's two spare cool. t-shirts. They're too small for me. I, I just washed them, I didn't even wear them. Oh, wow, thanks. Oh, they're, they're leftover. Yeah, it's the uh, same oh, thing nice. from the hat. It was the last time, so there's leftovers. Okay. They're just sitting in my drawer. All right, let me get my stuff on. Hey, so are we fishing together? Are we fishing apart? What's the scoop? Whatever, whatever you, it's your call. No, no. <laughs> You're the queen of, you know that they call your mom the queen of Lincoln City? You know that's her nickname? Did you know that? You know what that does? That makes you a prince. I don't know how sure what that makes you, Jeff. Can't make you the king. Maybe it does, I don't know. <laughs> you can't make him the king. No, I don't. <laughs> that's true. Okay, let me go get my stuff on. You guys, what are you using? Sand shrimp and clams or just clams? <laughs> oh, you did? Did you go pump? Oh, yeah. Wow, good for you. Hey Charlie, how you doing, dude? How's it going? Okay, looks like you got a partner. Yeah, from the wife with me. Good for you. Let's see if she'll catch her first. Oh, Santi and Rod. Oh yeah. I recognize the case. Yeah. How are you? Good. How are you? No, I was talking to your wife. Oh. <laughs> What's your name? Crystal. Crystal. I'm Jay. All right, go ahead and get your sweatshirt on first. I was trying to debate whether I wanted to wear my hoodie or not. Cause it's, it's a little windy. It's windy. Time. That's the only reason why. Because last time I wore my hoodie, I was sweating. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. I just wanted to see what your rod looked like. Yeah, it's one of the four piece ones. Four piece? Yeah. That's a nice rod. Oh, I like it. Yeah. It had how long? It's a lot more sensitive than the other one. Though. And how long? Absolutely. How long is it? Is it like 11 or 12 footer? 10. 10. Oh, he is pretty brave. Well, he's he's also taller, so that helps. All right, so uh, we're gonna go fish the south. We're a little bit here on the north. Kim's using three hooks, real bait. Guy's using my spare rod. He's using real bait. Jeff's got three high low three hook high low rig setup. He's using real bait. Don't know what Charlie and Crystal are using now. So we're just gonna spread out. Now, even though this is a competition, we want everybody to catch. So we're gonna share bites and locations. Okay, let's see how it goes. So I have no idea what swell energy is. Kim said it's incoming, or excuse me, outgoing low tide right now. Low tide's still about 50 minutes away. Uh, swell energy feels about, I'm guessing it's pretty close to a thousand today. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Kim's got her first cast. She's using an 11-foot Santiam. I'm using a 10-foot Santiam. Charlie's using a 10-foot Santiam. He's got a four-piece travel rod, though, so a little bit different than what I got. Okay, here we go. Long drift going from left to right. I just cast it, and my rig's already way to the right now. Bending the wires of my spider weight up because of the drift. Man, it's super windy here today. Temperature-wise, it's pretty good, but it's super windy. First cast, and she said the same thing I did that the turf from left to right is really, really strong. Okay, because of the drift, Kim's moving down the beach to the north side. Nice cast! Nice cast, man! Good job! Hey, when you're casting, Kai, cast to the left. Because that way, when it drifts, it'll give it a longer shot. But cast like way to left. You want to follow your dad? Want to go down more? Let's go move. We'll, yeah, let's go. We'll all move down. Because the current's pretty current's pretty nasty here. How many years you been fishing the Oregon coast, Jay? Uh, this is my fourth year. I only moved here four years ago. Okay. <laughs> I retired here. I was a California dude. Yeah, same as us. 
Yeah, oh yeah, because you guys came here yeah. about four years ago, August. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I didn't know anybody, just like you guys, I didn't know anybody up here. Are you getting a, are you getting a drift? Left or right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why we moved. Not quite as bad here. Okay. Still. Okay, so I've been here probably about five, seven minutes. This is like my third pass. Uh, I can't move again because how strong the drift is from left to right. Uh, here it's not as bad for me after rebending my spider legs, but everyone's taking pretty strong drift from left to right. So how do you like the rod holder? You know, how do you, said, how do you like the rod? Oh, fishing no hands. <laughs> but the rod holder is cool, huh? Don't catch your dad my uh, rod holder and he's just trying it out so he really likes it a lot that's the one that oh he's free now he's, now he's really one-handed he's not even holding the pole uh but i mean this is the that's the benefit of being part of this uh, club is that i got that rod holder for free um there's a whole bunch made to give away for the october tournament i am been here about half an hour i'm guessing Guessing I got in about five or six casts. Uh, again, very strong drift from left to right. Very windy here, uh, but I haven't had any action and uh, neither have Kai or Jeff. Not conclusive, but I thought I had a bite on one of my casts and when I reeled in, you know, my worm's half gone. So, but it's very hard today because there's a lot of turbulence in the waves, so uh with all the with your weight tumbling all the time can't tell if it was a bite or not but i think it was uh, who's to say got a bite because man she had a savage hook set so she's been fishing down here i'm guessing about 20 minutes now so we'll see how it goes but this is south of the creek and there's a cleft in the cliff that i always start at uh so this is where i've been fishing the last five or six times where i've been skunked so, but she's using real bait, so let's see how she's doing. And I'm trying to see if she's got a fish in her bag. You catch any? Okay, cool. I think I had a bite down there. I couldn't tell though, but my warrant came in, two thirds gone. So Kim says she's getting a lot of bites here. Uh, we're about 100 yards, 150 yards south of the mouth of the creek. So we just got here. I, I have to take my first calf. What? Huh? Oh, Kim says there's a seal right here. That's always a good sign. All right, so this is my first cast on the south. You getting your bites as soon as it lands? You having to pull it in? Huh? They're close. They're close? Okay. I'm just curious. Are you getting them on sand shrimp or clams? Your bites? It looks like sand shrimp. Man, Kim's getting bites. Yeah. I think go closer to her. She's using real bait. Yeah. Okay, so we're all spread out on the south side. Uh, Charlie came and joined us. He said he hadn't got any bites. I've been moving a little bit more south because when I was fishing, I was getting a lot of snag. And I could feel my wake go clackety clack on a bunch of rocks. So I'm still moving a little bit south. Uh, still no catches by anybody so far. All right. So I've been here about an hour now. I guess I got in about 10 casts, I'm thinking. Uh, had one potential bite, can't tell for sure, but my worm did come in half eaten. Uh, but Kim said she was getting a lot of bites, she just hasn't been able to land. Let's go see if Kim has had any bites. She's been rebaiting semi-frequently, so I assume she's getting bites. You still getting bites? Oh no? Because I see you're rebaiting all the time. I figured you were getting bites. Huh? Oh, okay. There's a lot of rocks on the side because I could feel it go. Phil, Charlie Merrifield, Kim Brown, uh, Jeff Brown, and Kai Brown. So we're just all huddling. Uh, nobody but Kim had got bites. And she said that after the seal popped up, uh, she didn't get any more bites. So, no fish today for anybody. So it looks like it's going to be a redo. We're going to go to round two. First round was a draw. 
Lincoln City and I were just conferring and agree that today's a miserable day to fish. I mean, the wind has never let up at all during the entire time we've been here. It's probably going about 15 to 20 miles and gusts of 25, but man, it's nasty. So it's not too cold, um, but just casting into it and man, my eyes are watering and I'm sniffling. So I wouldn't normally come out on a day like this, but I never wanted to fish with Kim Brown. So you know, uh, we didn't catch anything today so far. It's just fun fishing with fellow club members and I'm still looking to uh, get my win over here. Uh, looks like someone just showed up here and I'm guessing that's Tyler Perry. So this is Tyler Perry. Hey Tyler, how you doing dude? So uh, he's still looking for his first red tail. Huh? I caught my first red tail. You did? When did you get your first red tail? Um, so do you know Sparrow Park? Sparrow Park? I've heard of it, yeah. yeah. But... I went down there and uh, we, we camped the night and I yeah. got up at 4 o'clock right as high tide was Yeah, going. yeah, yeah. Started fishing. Didn't really get any bites until I moved like 20 yards. Yeah, yeah, outside. yeah, dude. All of a sudden I was pulling them in every, like every other cat. Awesome, dude. That's good. I'm yeah. glad you had one of those days. Yeah, I caught three that were keepers and uh -huh. four that were too small. What were you using for bait? Uh, just, the, just the worms. Okay. Yeah. Cool, dude. That's awesome. Uh, Did you get any club worm by any chance? No, I needed to try a club worm. I, I just had this Oh, oh got gotcha. you. You got your own pack, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, it's been dead. Uh, Kim got biked for a while, but other than that, in fact, we're about ready to quit. <laughs> All right, so it's Dan Kaplan and a Pina Gardner. They're just coming down to see the show. Where's your waiters? We came to support you. <laughs> we wanted to help you beat hey, the weed. I love your uh, hat. <laughs> no fish for anybody. No, that's, no. that's, that's saying. It's I, pretty, Charlie was saying. Uh, it's pretty busy. It is nasty. Yeah. Dan Kaplan and Pena just saying goodbye. See you guys later. And they just came to say hello. Believe <laughs> it or not, the wind's picking up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Kim I'm back in here. This wind's getting way too uh, gnarly for me. I'm just gonna come back at a different time. So, uh, been here about an hour and a half, about 10, 12, 15 casts somewhere in there. Uh, one potential bite, I can't say for sure, but uh, none of us caught any fish. Kim got, she said she was getting a lot of bites on the south for a bit. Once the seal popped up, nothing. And I don't believe she's caught anything yet. Uh, so I'm gonna tell her I'm gonna bag it because I don't wanna deal with this wind. Hey lady, I'm gonna bag it. I don't want, I'm gonna bag it. I don't wanna deal with this wind anymore. Yeah, that seems like, a, seems like it's picking up too. It's like, oh my it God, I know. Dude, you haven't even taken a cast yet. Okay, lady, I'm gonna bag it. Round one's a tie. No, it's not a tie. You got, you got a few jabs and you got a few bites. You got a few more bites than I did. What do you mean it's not a tie? Did you get any fish? No. Well, that's a tie. Zero, zero. <laughs> Kim cannot stand not getting any fish. This is not caving yet, it's a tie. We both got stuck. We both got stuck. Alright, so we're back. <laughs> That's right. Unless you want to walk home, right? <laughs> She's the most powerful figure on the board. So. <laughs> hey, that's why she's the queen. What's your favorite place to go fishing around here? Uh, this is it. It's right here. Yeah. One reason is mainly just because of the easy path. And uh, it's 12 minutes away. It, the, it was the closest, when I first moved here, it was the closest beach for me. Um, and then I built a house and moved about five miles. So it's not the closest beach anymore, but it's the one place I know. And I like the nice easy walk down the path. Yeah, I tell you, man, I tell you, living here, it's just, I mean, it's a, it's a dream come true for me. Cause you know, you just, it's nice. Cause you just look out the window and say, hey, I'm not going to go fishing yet. <laughs> I used to do that in the winter all the time. I was like, yeah, it's still raining. Nah, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, well, you can wait for the little. Uh, pops yeah, yeah, hour and a half. Yeah, that's exactly. That's no, that's exactly what I did. So, how do you like your Santiam rod compared to your old Rockaway? Oh, it's way better. Way better? I like the flex in it and the. You feel everything. You know, maybe I should try the 11 footer. Actually, why don't you bring some? Why don't you take some work to distribute? Because you'll probably see people. Hey, Tyler, you need gear? You need any gear, like worms or anything? Um, I could use some, uh, maybe a Bowie or so. 
Oh. Yeah, here. Awesome. You need okay. your belt back. Yes, I do. <laughs> Did you like that rod holder, dude? Optimization on there, so you can see it. Which reminds me, I need to, I need to get my rod holder and add a new belt because this one has the stupid clip on it. Yeah. So I was, you know, I wasn't able to put the rod holder. Oh, on. gotcha. I got... Oh, I want to use those rod holders. My hand keeps going numb after like 20 minutes. It does help. He was fishing with no hands. <laughs> He's just sitting there waiting for the bike. Yeah, and then he and then he was then he had the rod here and he was just he was reeling with one hand. So, dude, wear a belt every time, safety factor, or otherwise I'm taking back my hat. Okay. <laughs> hey, did you bring a crown by any chance? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's in the car. Let's go take a sit. Let's have these guys take a picture of us. Okay, so here's the recap. So we were in the water for about an hour and a half. I'm guessing I got in about 15 casts. I had one potential bite. I uh, don't know how many casts Kim got in, but. Uh, she got quite a few bites, she said, when she went to the south, but again, no fish. So, uh, she didn't want to call it a tie. Actually, Kim hated getting skunked today. <laughs> I've never seen her so upset being skunked before, but she definitely had it out for me today. Uh, and unfortunately, the fish guides both said no to us. So, this is round one, round two to be continued. All right, that's it for today. But man, what an awesome day. Had a tremendous amount of fun, even though the fishing conditions were awful. But uh, just hanging out with Kim, Kai, Jeff, Tyler, and Charlie, and Crystal. And then I got to see Dan Kaplan and a Pena Gardner down here. What an awesome day. I just love seeing members of the club come down and just visit. Anyway, all right. Till next time. See you later.